Now, May 15th was when the full general strike started. So May 1st was just those metal workers. May 15th, which is this day, is when everyone decides to go on strike. So these women who you see here, these are telephone operators. So they worked the telephones. They would connect your call. And they were the first ones to walk off of their jobs the morning of the strike. But by the end of the day, there were 30,000 other workers who had joined them as well. So that was a lot. The city was basically shut down because so many workers had left their jobs. Now, this woman here is named Helen Armstrong, and she's one of my favorite people from the strike. She's really interesting. So this here is Helen Armstrong, and she was a labor organizer. So when workers, especially women workers, decided that they wanted to try and fight for better pay or something like that, she would try and help them out, help them get organized. And she decided during the strike, she wanted to help people, especially her fellow women workers. And so she went to this hotel, the Strathcona Hotel. By the way, the Strathcona Hotel is, uh, was right where the museum is today. So if we went to the museum and went back 100 years, uh, we would see the Strathcona Hotel. And she went to the owners of the Strathcona Hotel and she got permission to make a labor cafe inside. And the labor cafe gave um, workers free food. And so when people were on strike, of course they weren't working. And so they were not making any money. And that could be really hard, especially if you didn't have a lot of money saved up, especially for women who didn't make as much money as men. And so, Women workers and men as well sometimes would come to that cafe and they could eat for free and that helped them get through it. 